Mark Robertson from Dural Irrigation. Today, I'm going to show you how to program a very simple and very reliable Galcon controller. Let's do it. The Galcon will basically be blank with the screen uh, when you're not using it. That's to save battery. Uh, obviously, one 9 volt battery should last you about 12 months. Now, the first thing to program, if we press our mode button, is the time. Now, it's just displaying here at 2.23 a.m. on Sunday. Now, I want to change that to 10.30 a.m. Thursday. So we press the set button. That'll start flashing our hour. So we just press our plus until we get through to 10. So it's currently 10.23 a.m. If I wanted uh, p.m., I can just scroll through to p.m. Okay. Scroll back to get back to a.m. So 10.23. I want to change the minutes now, so I press the set button to go across. Change it up to 10.30. So our hours and minutes are done. Press the set button again. And we can see a little, little droplet flashing just under, under Sunday there. Now, today's Thursday, so I want to change that to over to Thursday. So we just press the plus button to move that across to Thursday. And that set the current time and day. Very important to do that correctly. If you set the wrong day and you want the watering cycle to come on specific days, uh, it's going to be all over the place because it doesn't actually know what day it is. Okay, the next thing to set is our duration. So if we press the mode button, it will go from the time down to the duration. And you'll notice there's a little hourglass next to duration. It's currently displaying five minutes. Now I want to change that to 40 minutes. So press the set button. You'll notice the hours will start to flash. Now I can press plus to up that up to an hour, but in this case I only want 40 minutes, so we'll minus that back to zero hours. Press the set button across to take us across to our minutes. And then we just keep pressing or hold the plus until we get up to 40 minutes. Okay. That's our duration set. As you can see, you can press the set button and it will keep scrolling through hours and minutes. Doesn't matter that it's still flashing, that is set. Uh, and as soon as you press that mode button to move to the next uh, parameter, 40 minutes will, will remain in there. The next parameter set after your duration is the days to water. Now we press the mode button there, pops up a little, little calendar next to days. It's currently got off. Now to set our days, we press the set button. It's currently flashing a droplet under Sunday. Now if you want to water that day, you press plus, and if you don't, you press minus. Now I want to set my days as Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so I can go through one day at a time, pressing plus or minus. On Sunday, I don't want to water, minus. Monday I do, plus. Tuesday I don't, minus. Wednesday I do, plus. Thursday I don't, minus. And Friday I do plus. So you can see that that's Monday, Wednesday and Friday where the droplets are. And that will be our days to water. Now there is another option which is basically if you leave it at off next to the calendar and press mode again it will come up to, the, to this little circle. That is interval watering. So if I change that now Pressing set, okay, it'll start with hours, but you can take it right up to days. If I set that at three days on the interval watering, that means it will water every three days, regardless of what day it is. Okay, most people prefer uh, the calendar watering. Okay, so we'll leave it on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Yeah, at least then you know exactly what days it's coming on. The last parameter to, to set is our start times. Again, pressing that mode button, it'll, it'll display a little start one, because there is actually four start times. So we basically just press our set button and plus. So we can move it up to what time we want it to come on. You can go plus or minus, scroll through the times. Uh, I want it to come on at 6 a.m. So that's done. Obviously you can do 6.30 if you want to change the minutes. 
um, just by pressing that set button to go to minutes and then the plus button to, to change it. So once that start time is programmed, press the mode button to get to start two. I'm going to leave that off. Start three is off. Start four is off. Press the mode again, it'll just go back to our time. So to run through that program, we've got our current time at 10.35 a.m. on a Thursday. It's going to come on for 40 minutes, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 a.m. And that's it. So just to demonstrate the rain off button and the manual button, if you hold down the rain off button, you can see it's popped up a little tap there with a cross through it. Now, as long as that is on the screen, it will not water. And it will not come off until you come back and hold that rain off button. Okay, so it's just a, a way of manually turning it off on the controller. The manual button, if you want to pop over and give it a manual water um, without interfering with the program, you can just press that manual button. It's going to come on automatically for the duration that you have normally set, which in this case was 40 minutes, and then turn off. Now, if you want to turn that off uh, now, you don't want to wait the 40 minutes, you just do your manual test, just press that manual button again, and it will turn off. Quite simple. So I hope you now have a better uh, understanding of how to program a Galpon timer. Uh, one last thing, don't skimp on the batteries, use good quality uh, uh, Energize or Dural Cell batteries. You have at least 12 months out of them. Uh, and far longer out of the controller. My fly pro tip of the day. Thanks for watching.